Tammy for an accidental life tray and welcome back to my channel I have a J Jill haul my J Jill fall haul today and everything I bought today was on sale it was something like hundred and eighty seven dollars and some cents I have five items for this haul which I've been kind of sticking to this year um, but there is going to be another haul coming up before the end of the year that's going to be more my winter haul and um, that is going to also be uh, a J. Jill haul, okay? Um, anyway, I looked up the Pantone of 2020, and it is C colors. And actually, this orange is a part of those um, that I have on today. Um, the caramel color that I have on is kind of a part of that which is more like their yarrow color or whatever. Um, they have like several colors that all relate to the sea. Browns are in there and um, let's see, there uh, there's a red that's in there. Um, there are greens that are in there. So all of this kind of revolves around those Pantone colors that are going to, you're going to be seeing a lot this fall you saw it and you'll be seeing it into next year. So Without further ado, I'm gonna show you this whole outfit and tell you a little bit more. And um, the sweater is kind of a tunic length and I am thinking that I'm going to probably wear a long sleeved um, shirt underneath this on Thanksgiving uh, because I wanna be warm <laughs> and it might be colder and uh, this is okay for a day like today where the weather is still changing. It's windy outside, but it's, you know, not real cold yet. The, um, I, like I said, there's a tank underneath here right now, and that's good for sometimes, and sometimes I would, I would wear a shirt underneath it. And this is what it looks like all the way around. And it kind of has a lower back, which I like for me. Um, then I got these leggings, which are a caramel color, and they're suede. And looking, they aren't suede, but they they have that suede look to them, so they'll look really nice with boots. Now, they said leggings, so I was thinking my typical pull-up leggings, but this, they have a little bit of a fly, a couple of snaps. It's very secure, but it's very roomy. I was a little bit nervous because I got the extra large, like I usually do. And sometimes when it's more of a pant, like these actually turned out to be, I get a little bit nervous with an extra large because sometimes the 18s are a little bit too snug. And um, I may have lost a little weight. So <laughs> anyway, they're starting to get a little bit just fine. So I'm okay <laughs> with the extra large in these. I wouldn't have wanted any bigger. So this is a good, and there's plenty of, uh, leeway if they would happen to shrink, but usually J. Jill things do not. So that those are three of my items. Let's take a look at the other two. Next I have this dress, which I still have the leggings on underneath. I don't think I'd wear those with it. I'd probably wear tights or a different type of legging. But um, this is in peat moss. It has sort of a greenish brownish color. It has this sort of heathered look here, kind of a stripe. It's very different in its print. It fits, it's very roomy, long, long sleeve. So it has that extra long sleeve, which sometimes I pull up like this. And uh, it's fitting very nice, very comfortable. This is kind of like an everyday type dress for me that I was looking for. So this was great. So, that's my fourth item. And my fifth item is this dress. I saw this dress um, earlier, um, and then it went on sale. And it's in an extra large, which is a little on the snug side. I'm debating on keeping this one, but it's got these pockets. I wouldn't have this heavy of... Um, something underneath. I suppose if I had some shape wear on, I guess it might work better too, but that curve is going to be there most likely. So
so I'm not sure about keeping this. I'm, I'm going to be debating on this. Um, eh, it's probably okay. Um, I kind of that little gulch of mine shows often, so that's the way it is. Um, maybe I belt it. Uh, I don't think I'd do that. I don't know. So I'm thinking about this one. Um, kind of disappointed in it. I might just take this one back. I have to go back anyway tonight. So I think this one's going to be a return. So that's okay. Um, usually they're good about returns. If not, I, I mean, it's not, it's not impossible, but definitely I wouldn't wear leggings with it. It would have to have I think it would be okay once I had pantyhose on. It'd be okay. I just ate lunch, so it's a little bloaty today. So I might might stay with this. It's more of a, a house dress anyway, so it's okay. But hmm, it's on the fence. I'm on the fence about this one. It's a little more body con than I expected it to be, but I think maybe it's meant to be. So if I have the right undergarments, I think it will work fine. It's just, it's not tight or anything. It's just not as flattering as I would want it to be. But like I say, I have the wrong thing underneath of it. it so I think I'll keep it the more I think about it. It'll be fine. It's... Ah, sitting down it's fine and stuff I have just the wrong thing on with it and once I get jewelry on and probably because it's three-quarter length in winter I'm gonna wear a sweater so that'll slim it down too so <laughs> it'll be fine um, so those were my five things for my fall J Jill haul I hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you soon I have a jewelry haul. I finally made my jewelry from Softflex, so that'll be coming up. Um, I think I might do that on, on Friday because I have some other jewelry that I'm going to hopefully make in a few minutes today after I get everything put away and do my other stuff that I need to do. So anyway, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. Tammy for An Accidental Life. Bye-bye.